Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. France is burning. The riots that began with the shooting of a teenager are spreading. The images from Paris are quite dramatic and the president is locked in a war of words with the police union. How did all of this happen? Have protests become the hallmark of Macron's presidency? On Vantage tonight, we'll discuss. In Sweden, a copy of the Quran was burned outside a mosque on Eve. The reactions have been swift and unexpected lines. Sweden says it is freedom of expression. Its allies say it's legal but inappropriate. Had it happened in a country like India, they would have been quick to call it a backsliding democracy. Also, what was the need for this protest? Is this to scuttle Sweden's NATO bid? We'll explain. Joe Biden is confusing Ukraine with Iraq, not once but twice. China has police stations in West Asia too, which they obviously deny. The UK is suffering a water crisis and is your company stealing your wages? We'll tell you how the headlines first. Ukraine asks NATO for clarity on its membership. Kiev says the alliance must make it stand clear before the summit next month. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has galvanized the Western military alliance, but members of the military bloc remain split over Ukraine's membership. In India, opposition leader Rahul Gandhi's tour of violence at Manipur has been stopped by the police. The Congress leader was on his way to Chura Chandpur, one of the worst hit districts. Police stopped Rahul Gandhi's convoy over security concerns. Manipur has been battling ethnic violence for the last two months. Set back for the Rishi Sunak government, a UK court rules that the plan to send asylum seekers to Rwanda is unlawful. The Court of Appeal says Rwanda cannot be considered a safe third country. Former Prime Minister Boris Johnson had made the proposal to tackle record migration. From one controversial plan to another, Israel's Prime Minister says he has removed a key part of his judicial reform plan. The clause to curb the Supreme Court's powers and give politicians a greater say in the selection of judges has been removed. Netanyahu's contentious judicial overhaul has sparked mass protests in Israel. And pop star Madonna has been hospitalized. She's in the ICU battling a bacterial infection. The 64-year-old had, has had to postpone her world tour, which was scheduled to kick off next month. 